What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode 92 of Ruin a Randomer. Today we've got a bit of a nostalgic team. Uh, I'm going to take you through the team and then we'll get into a game and then I'll explain loads of stuff and shit and stuff. So we've got Diego Cavalieri, Marcio Azevedo, Dede the centre-back, uh, Manuel, Cicinho, Danilinho, Carlos Alberto, Ronaldinho, uh, Roger at left midfield, the informed version, Wallison and inform Liete up front. And we're going into the Advanced Cup, the first round, guys. I can't enter the Copa del Augusto Cup with this team because they're all Brazilians. Um, and they are indeed all from Liga do Brasil, which is where this team kind of got the inspiration. Basically, guys, I, I've been talking to a few people on Skype and I was like, I was talking about a few different channels from back in the day when I first started making videos and it made me look at, back at my old videos. And I used to focus a lot of my stuff around Liga do Brasil and the like the Brazilians. And I watched a, a montage today. I think it was from Kazooie. Please don't like hound me if I'm too wrong about it. And uh, it was a montage about Rafael Sobis. And he, of course, is the five-star striker from Liga do Brasil. Uh, he's played for a few clubs over the last couple of years, though. So... Uh, but he's awesome. He he was one of my favourite players in FIFA uh, 11, um, and he's he's a good player in FIFA 12. But I don't really use him very much, just because like the way my YouTube channel has gone, I kind of have to mix it up with the players I use, and like because I'm not doing a rise a rise rise to fame or a road to glory or whatever, um, you know, uh, I can't really. Um, can't really just focus on just using one team and stuff. And like I actually looked at the road to glory team that uh that i had um just a little while ago because I, when i asked in yesterday's video whether or not you guys want to see um oh shit bollocks um whether or not you guys want to see another road to glory before fifa 13 and like the the general answer was no so i, I won't be doing one um fifa 13 drops real soon anyway guys so you know we probably wouldn't have got too far but i went back to have a look at my my old I oh, wanted that to go to Wallace and come on game. Uh, yeah, I went back to have a look at my old uh, Rise to Fame series and videos and stuff. And like the team is pretty good. And my record is like 190 wins or so and like 30 odd losses, which in itself is a pretty good record as well. Um, and it was just, I don't know, like it was just a bit, a bit weird, like looking at the teams because I had the Brazilian team and then I had an Italian league team. Um, and then, oh, that's just way too many skills there. No need for that at all. Uh, and then I had, like, a silver Brazilian team that I just finished building uh, that you guys didn't actually get to see in the videos. Um, and it just really made me start thinking about FIFA 11 a lot and, like, how I loved FIFA 11. Like, I thought it was a much better game than FIFA 12. Uh, I still do think it's a better game than what FIFA 12 has been. And uh, I started looking at the players from like my FIFA 12 videos and stuff like you know the Giovanni and Fernandinho when he was a left wing and silver um, and then you had uh, like Adrian Ad, wait Ad, Adrian Zeno or oh crap uh, Adria Zeno or I think his name was like from the Turkish league that was a five star Brazilian skiller um, and you just had like some crazy good players from from Liga do Brazil that were five star skillers and of course like Carlos Alberto was a gold in um in uh, FIFA 11 the whole time but in FIFA 12 he started out as a silver and then got an upgrade and then you got like Lincoln who's a silver in FIFA 12 but was a gold in FIFA 11 and then you got players like Ilsenio you know he's a cam a gold cam in FIFA 12 but he was a silver right back in FIFA 11 uh, and he had five star skills in FIFA 11 too oh that's a nice goal um, and it, it was just so crazy to look at the team and look at the players that I had and like I still had Manuel as a centre back, and the centre back I had with him was Leonardo Silva, who was also silver in FIFA 11, but is gold in FIFA 12. Um, and it just like I wanted to build a team based around a FIFA 11 team, but it's a little bit difficult because of the change of all the players that I've had. Like, like I say, like also you had like Jobson um, in FIFA 12, who's not no longer in FIFA. Sorry. You had Jobson in FIFA 11, that's no longer in FIFA 12. And you had uh, Giovanni, which was one of my all-time favourite players in any FIFA. Um, in FIFA 11, he's no longer in FIFA 12. So I, I found it a little bit unable to actually look for a team to build 
that would exactly replicate one of the teams that I had in um, in FIFA 11. Um, however, what I want from you guys is to just put in the comment section a FIFA 11 team that you really liked that's still available on FIFA 12. It doesn't have to be like... like I liked a lot of players because of their skill moves. Um, it doesn't have to be because of skill moves. Like If you had someone that you loved in FIFA 11 that was 5-star skills but is now 3-star skills, for example, Fred, um, then still put them in the team because I want to start using some of the teams that you guys liked in FIFA 11 uh, and put them onto FIFA 12 and have a look, see how well they do, see how well they play and uh, we'll go forward from there. So I want to see some teams from you guys like that. Also, guys, um, play to win season two. I'm getting quite in depth to it. I asked on Twitter earlier today, well, yesterday for for you guys. I asked on Twitter for what would you think was an acceptable win count for cup games only? Um, because I will only be playing in the cup games. Oh my god, I can't. I'm really disappointed in myself for losing this game so far because I've had several opportunities to score goals and I'm just not taking them. Um. But yeah, so what would you think was an acceptable number? Like most people said like, you know, four trophies or maybe 20 wins um, without loss would be a good record. And <clears throat> that would be a good record. Like that might be pretty fucking tough to get to. Like because cup games, you know, like are are sweaty as like it's all the, the sweatiest teams, the sweatiest players, which is why I probably fit pretty well in there um, because I have got a sweaty team and I am a sweaty player. Um, but yeah, I just want to also put in the comment section, guys, whether or not you think, um, what basically what you think rather, not whether or not you think, what you think is an acceptable uh, number of wins. I'm trying to, I'm really struggling to get my words out. Whilst I'm trying to, trying to go and score a goal, and we've got a corner here, um, so hopefully we can make some do with this corner. That should be a goal. Ah, oh, this should be a goal with Cecinio here. Oh wow, what a block. Um, Go on, son. Win that header. Oh, what the fuck? You just let that bounce over, you derp. Um, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed I'm losing this game, as I already mentioned. But, hey, that's how it is. That's how it is. Ah, oh, what the... Nah. Um, so, I want to talk about something, guys. Um, today, I had tweeted to me a couple of scam videos. And, uh, basically, what the scam is... Is that, peop that this guy was, like... Um, he, he's giving away his ultimate team because FIFA 12 is at the end now and he can't be bothered and all this bullshit about how he doesn't want his team anymore. And he's just going to give it away to anyone that posts a comment in the, the the EA forums. Now, he's got a link to the EA forums in his um, in his description, except it's not a link to the EA forums. It's the link to a website that looks exactly like the EA forums. And when you fill in this thing to like sign in, it basically says what's your username, password, and um, what's your the, the answer to your security question. Now, first and foremost, if any website like this asks for the answer to your security question, it's fake. The only website that's real like that is the EA Sports um, Ultimate Team web app website. That's the only one that will ever ask you for that. Um, and, you know, the, like, I don't know, it, it, it just... It's obviously a scam because also all EA websites, if he scores again there, oh, for fuck's sakes, man. He's had like two chances and scored two goals. What the fuck? Um, yeah, if um, all EA websites, guys, start as EA.com, like, like www.ea.com, and then it's like forward slash whatever they got going on for themselves. Like, that's absolutely undoubtable they will never have a website that ends in like .tk or .weebly or any of these bullshit websites um 245th minute goals there as well not saying anything um and this this guy is like obviously he's he's done a good job of making his coins or whatever wow that is the most un uncreative match ever two shots two goals for him one shot on target one goal for me not really much going on at all okay let's try and change that bad boy up um so um yeah so this guy's tried scamming people and like people linked me to a few other other videos what the fuck is this guy doing to a few other videos and it turns out it was the same guy um 
Okay, here we go. Right, we've got to go ultra attacking now. He's gonna is he actually gonna spend the whole second half trying to pass around his defence because he will fuck up. And there we go, that's already him fucked up. And that's what he gets. And that guys is where these D pad tactics come in absolutely handy. If you saw there guys, I moved to ultra attacking, I put myself to high pressure, steal the ball off him in his defence, Ronaldinho 2-2, two -two, thank you very much. Don't be a dick. Don't pass it around your defence. Nobody likes that sort of shit. Um, but yeah, so basically, he's obviously made enough coins from this. You know, he's making coins from hacking people and scamming people and stuff. And his videos were all the same. And it's it's just a bit crazy. Like, the, uh, I find it hard that people still believe that they can... Well, I, I just find it hard that people actually still get hacked. Like, it, it annoys me a little bit that people fall for these scammers. Not just this kind of guy, because this guy did it different to anyone that I've ever seen. Like, he put it on an EA forum looking one instead of, like, the web app. And he just did shit a little bit different, which is why it would have worked, uh, and initially at least. Um, and, uh, yeah, basically, like, he, he got away with it for a while. Um how long he will continue to get away from it away from it away for away with it for is you know entirely up to you guys that fall for the scams um but it does it does annoy me that people fall for the scams not annoy me in the sense that i get pissed off with the person that got scammed i get annoyed like for them like it annoys me that people go out of their way to fuck people over like it really does annoy me um so i want to give you some very very valid very very um just basically some tips and some hints on how the fuck to not get scammed. So tip number one, guys, is this. Because people still fall for this a lot. And it, it shocks me how much. Tip number one, guys. Player duplication is impossible. It's impossible, guys. Like Because I'm going to explain here. If play, I've, I've explained this in a video once before as well. But it was quite a while ago. And I didn't have as many subs now. So obviously I can make more of an impact by telling the people that I've got now. But if player duplication was possible, everybody on the market would be cheap because they'd be able to be duplicated constantly. Anyone that could duplicate a player would simply duplicate them until there was hundreds of them on the market and their value would decrease. So if player duplication was real, like you could duplicate Ronaldo, sorry, I was going to say Ronaldinho there as he tried to head the ball. You could duplicate Ronaldo 10 times, 20 times, 50 times. And eventually people would stop pay, paying the price that you're asking for him because there'll be so many of him on the market. So he would become a lot cheaper. And the, the other thing is that if you could duplicate players, like the 99 Messi that there's only like 10 of in the whole game, there would be like a million of them because duplication would mean that, you know, anyone could get their hands on a Messi if you could duplicate players. And that would be it. Like he would be duplicated to the point where everyone's got a 99 Messi, but that obviously doesn't happen because player duplication is absolutely impossible. So for the love of God to anyone that's ever been scammed before, or anyone that ever thinks that player duplication's okay, or anyone that like just gets someone that says to them, oh, I thought I went in, fuck. Anyone that says to them, hey man, I can duplicate your players. They can't, like please do not pay attention to them. Don't be fooled by the Oh my god, what if they can duplicate the players? Like, that would be so amazing if I had five Agbon Lahores. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just not going to happen. It's never going to happen. And if it does happen, you'd know about it so quick through, like, Twitter or, like, just the community in general. Because somebody would find out about it if it was able to happen. And they would make a video about it. Like, somebody known within the community. I'm not saying necessarily a massive channel. But somebody with, like, 10, 15, 20,000 subs that post regularly and is trustworthy would post a video saying, hey... This guy actually duplicated my players. But they don't. Because it's impossible. <laughs> um, so the other thing. The other way people get scammed guys. Is uh, from. Hold on. Oh wow. That was some nice defending. Um, yeah the other way people get scammed guys. Is from these like. These weebly sites and stuff. And people get away with this all the fucking time. Because there's so many so like websites. That allow you to like replicate. A, an actual website with a consumer ease like it's really really simple to do um, but just be careful guys when you look at a website EA, EA will never ever ever ask you for your security answer or security question in one of their um, 
one of their sites, unless, like I said, it's the web app. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's not even where I aimed at. Uh, yeah, unless it's the web app, guys, they will not ask you for your security answer. If you ever log on to a site and it says put in your password and your username or email address and your security answer, just leave. Just leave straight away. It's a scam. There's no two ways about it. You're not going to get anything except absolutely fucked up the a-hole and you don't want it. Like there, there was this thing linked to me the other day where this guy is uh, claiming he's doing a giveaway. Uh, it's very similar to the one that was on the YouTube video except it wasn't. And he's like, just go to this website and uh, follow the information. Oh, is that going to go in? Fuck. Is that not a back pass? Come on. Um, basically, it says like follow the information and you, you can get to choose who you want. And what they do is they say you'll get your players within 24 hours. So you put in your information thinking, hey, I'm going to wait 24 hours and then, hey, I'm going to have like a Ronaldo in my trade pile. It doesn't work, guys. The reason why they give you, they say give them 24 hours is because then they can log into your account when, you know, it's likely that there's no one online, like so that you're not going to see them doing it at like 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning. They could steal all your players and then by the time you wake up, you're going to be like, shit, I've been hacked. Like, And then you're going to sit there thinking, I didn't give my password and stuff out to anyone. Like somebody must have hacked my account through the old method, which no longer exists, by the way, for anyone that... Uh, that asks. Like I get, I get a, a fair few people uh, message me like, "Oh, Nep, I've been hacked, but I definitely didn't put my uh, information into a website. Like I've just been hacked. Somebody's stolen my password or reset my password and stuff. That stuff is no longer able to happen. EA Sports have sorted that out, and you can't get hacked that manner anymore. Like the way that used to happen was basically someone would. Um, oh, look at Wallace in loads of space there. Uh, basically, someone would phone up EA pretending to be you and say that you've forgotten your email and use and a password and stuff and you can't log in and can you please reassign everything to a certain email address and then they could just get your username and password through like that way they could reset the password essentially um, but now EA have got like better security measures so that that can't happen and um, basically yeah that will never happen to you anymore like that method is done and dusted it's absolutely absolutely finished but so for though for anyone that does get hacks now you've put your details in somewhere that you shouldn't you shouldn't have done so what i just say to the, those guys that have done that is just be very very careful where what you're clicking on and where you're putting your stuff like on the ea forums people try and scam all the time most people are aware of it now most people realize what the fuck's trying to go on and within almost no time at all people will be like dude don't click on that they're trying to hack you they're trying to scam you all this all that but still people fall for it and I, you know, hopefully I could just raise the awareness enough. Um, what, I, what I'll ask of you guys as well, because people tweeted me a few times, like once I said to, on Twitter that one person's made a scam video, I had like four or five people tweet me about other scam videos, so I made people aware about those scam videos and eventually they all get like taken out and shut down and stuff. So basically guys, if you guys have ever come across a scam video that's a genuine scam video, just link it to me on Twitter and then I'll t retweet it or tweet it out to all my followers so that they can, f you know, they can go and flag the video and it gets removed. And we'll try and, like, get rid of these scammers, basically, because they're fucking annoying. Do you know what I mean? They ruin a lot of people's play. In FIFA 11, um, before I actually started doing YouTube videos in FIFA 11, I got, I got like, hacked, like, proper hacked through the, the old way from EA. And I lost only, like, 30,000 coins worth of players. But at the time, that was a lot of coins in you know FIFA 11 at the start 30,000 coins was a hell of a lot and uh, I lost that and it was shit and I never got it back like EA did nothing to help me at all um, and that's you know it's not really nice when they don't do anything to help what the fuck was that it's not really nice when they don't do anything to help you back with it you know because if if they did start helping people like I, I kind of understand like people would just claim that they got hacked all the time they claim they lost Messi and they claim they lost Ronaldo and they claim they lost this player and that player, and it, it's probably not true. Do you know what I mean? Like, they uh, they say they got. I, I knew straight away I shouldn't have done that fucking skill move because this guy's using contained defense, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job with it. So I need to play the passing game. Come on! Oh, there's that through ball. Oh, diving header for the loss. Oh, he's hit the post. The fuck! Come on, man. Um. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, post again, come on. Jesus Christ, game, what the flying fuck. Look at the spin on that ball. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say about the the hackers and the scammers and uh, 
all that kind of nonsense. Oh, go on, Wallison. Go on, Wallison. Chip. Oh, that's going in. Oh, he saved it again. The fuck, man. Um, yeah, so th that's literally all I had to say about the... Wow, this guy is definitely ultra-defensive. Look how many people he's got in his box there. <coughs> that's pretty much all I had to say about that. Um, next week, guys. Today, what's the day for you guys? It's Thursday uh, when you're listening to this. So next week is going to be Gamescom. I'm going to Gamescom with Cal Freezy and KSI. Um, we're there from Monday until Saturday. I think my dates are right there. Maybe Monday until Friday. Um, but we're definitely there from Monday to Friday, maybe on until Saturday. Now, I can offer you a couple of types of things for that week. Now, I can either do no uploads at all, which maybe some of you would uh, would like a little bit more <laughs> because some people seem to hate me. That's absolutely fine. So I can offer you no uploads at all, or I can offer you video logs from Germany, or I can put a couple of scheduled upload videos up but if I did put scheduled upload videos up, I'd want you guys to let me know exactly what day you want, exactly what video. So put in the comment section again. I know you've got a lot of comments to write this time. Um, put in the comment section, guys, whether you'd like to see what like what day you'd like to see what video. Maybe like Monday you'd like to see a Ruin Randoma, and Tuesday you'd like to see a video log from Germany, and Wednesday you'd like to see a play to win, and Thursday another video log, and Friday... I don't know, uh, shooting for silverware or something. But I, I'll need to know like kind of exactly what you guys would prefer um, just so I can get the videos made and put on the scheduled uploader and then the days that I'm going to be doing the video logs. Uh, if you actually want video logs from Germany, um, I'll put... I'll, I'll upload obviously like the day that I do the video because I'll be able to edit and upload in Germany. Uh, we, we will have uh, internet connection whilst we're there. So... Um, Oh, this guy's getting frustrated that he's losing now. Oh, come on. That was bad. That was bad. Um, that not so bad. That was pretty good. Go on, Wilson. Make that run. Make that run. Flick over the head. Boom. Oh, wow. That was terrible. <coughs> and it wasn't a flick over the head either. Um, so, yeah. That's basically what's going on for me next week. So, I'm pretty excited about Gamescon. Uh, I think. Did I talk about it? I, I can't remember when I talked about it. I talked about it in some one video. Might have been... Uh, oh, shit. This guy's going to score again. Oh, that's great defending. That is some fantastic stuffs. Um, yeah, I'm super, super excited for, for Gamescon. It's going to be the first time I've ever been to Germany, uh, which will be awesome in itself, you know. Um, but uh, just in general, seeing a whole bunch of YouTubers and stuff will be absolutely immense. Wallison. Oh, I scored some sick, sick goals in the the play to win season two, guys. Like some of the best goals I've scored, and some of them with Wallison as well. He's an absolute machine. He really shouldn't be um, rated that low as a player because he is a boss. Uh, I think this guy is very, very upset that he's losing this game. It's got to be offside, yeah. Um, but I deserve to win this game. Been dominant like the whole game, pretty much. Um, Knowing my luck, I'm going to go and concede a stupid goal now. Uh, it's not really my luck, knowing my, the way I play this damn game. Uh, I'm going to go and concede a stupid goal and end up going into penalties with this. But no, we're in the 120th minute, one in one minute of injury time, and uh, that's offside. So that should be the end, guys. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you could like, favorite, and subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Domination. And this isn't even COD either. This is FIFA. And we're still playing Domination.